All right, so <clears throat> this is what your practice quiz for 4.2 is going to look like, all right? Um, I know we're not having a Zoom today, but this is stuff that we've done. We did last time and the time before, really, before we were going to break. Okay, just solving for solving equations, all right? But now there's going to be some extra variables in there. Okay, so like right here on number on the first one, okay, it says isolate the indicated variable. So if you look at the question, it's asking for x. So we need to get x by itself, okay, on this one. Because the a and the x are next to each other, that means they're being multiplied. So we need to divide both sides by a. That way those a's cancel. And then x is just going to be whatever you end, up, you end up with on the right. Okay, so expect to see variables in your answer. Okay, your answer is going to be a variable, but there's also going to be a variable, another, a different one, in the answer. All right, so you should, yeah, should be okay on those. All right, um, this one you should be okay with. All right, the last one, this is the only one that we probably haven't talked about yet, okay? We said um, on Wednesday how, you know, the first half of this class is equations, the second half is inequalities. Okay, well, here's just a little intro to inequalities. Okay, so I'm going to do this on a separate piece of paper. Okay, so say you had a number line, and you guys have all seen these before. All right, we'll just say 0, 1, 2, 3. Okay, so if you, if, and you probably saw these graphs already also before, but if a graph, if this looked like this, Okay, and I think you guys might have, like, shaded this in. All right, drawing it to the right. So you can see here that the, the dot is at negative 2. Okay, so it's going to be x. And then, remember, we're trying to write an inequality, so something with a negative 2. Now, we just have to figure out, basically, is it that or is it that? Okay, or is it that? Or that okay so just keep in mind that this arrow is pointing to the right okay and if you look at all these numbers all of the numbers this way are all bigger than negative 2 okay so if they're bigger then that's gonna say X is greater than negative 2 because the arrow goes to the right and as you move to the right on the number line those numbers keep getting bigger. And remember, anything in this arrow, anything that this arrow passes, that's technically an answer. Okay, and it's going to go on forever. It's going to keep going. That's why the arrow is there. So that means all of the answers, x, will be any number that's at negative 2 or beyond. Okay, and so that's the other part of this, okay? It always, the sign always eats the bigger thing. So the way it's written right now, it says, if you read it left to right, x is greater, because it's opening towards the x, than negative 2. That's what this says. Remember, we always read things left to right just like a book, so mathless to English, okay? x is greater than negative 2. Okay, the only problem with this is that not only can it be greater, but since this circle was colored in right here, it could also be equal to that. So technically, it could be greater than or equal to negative 2. Okay, so when you want to say greater than, we obviously know it eats the bigger one. But equal to, the way you say that, is by putting the line underneath the sign. Okay, so now this inequality, this is in Mathlish. Okay, that's in English. But they mean the same thing. And the number line, this is a graph. So we have a graph, we have a, an inequality, a Mathlish inequality, and we have a, a sentence written in English that are all showing the same thing. 
Okay, so this is kind of a little like introduction to inequalities, okay, and how you graph them. All right, we're not solving anything. We're just graphing them, going from basically from the graph to the math list, the graph to the inequality, inequality to graph. All right, just to show you another one now. Okay, so let's just say, now I'm just going to start making stuff up. So notice the number lines aren't going to look exactly pretty like they did. Okay, maybe I'll just do one, two, three, four, five. Now, let's say I put a circle like this. So it's open. Okay, I notice I didn't fill it in. Like the other one was colored all the way in. This one's open. Okay, still going to put an arrow to the right. And this, with the arrows, you can shade it or not. I usually just draw the arrow. Okay, so now this is obviously going to be X. It's going to be a greater than because it's going to the right. All right, that's going to be a 3. But because this circle is open, that means it's going to get like really, really close to the 3. It's actually, it actually should look like this. Should be more kind of like that like closer all that means is that it's going to get right next to the three like 3.001 but we'll never actually get to the three so it can't be it can be greater than three it just can't be equal okay so if the circle is open there's no line underneath okay notice this was just x is greater than three no equal to underneath it because if we look at our number line it's not allowed to be equal to. This dot is not colored in. Okay, so that's the other thing I want to write down now is that a colored in dot means it can be, it can be equal to. Okay, if it's an open dot or like it's not colored in, okay, then that means it's only going to be greater than or less than. Okay, it's not going to be equal. So a colored in dot, again, would look like this on a number line. Okay, if it's colored in, there's going to be a line underneath. It's going to be greater than or less than, but with the equal to. So it's either going to be like this or like this. Okay, if it's an open dot, it's going to look like this. So that means it can only be greater or less than, just not equal to. All right, and remember, if it goes to the right, it's greater. If it goes to the left, it's less.